Some lawmakers are pushing for changes in state law two years after the death of a baby at a daycare center that had been repeatedly cited for violations. As CBS 2's Randy Page reports, California may now change how it deals with daycare records. Adam was a happy, smiling, loving baby who could melt anyone's heart. What I am now left with are only his memories. Julie Garcia speaking in open court at the sentencing of the daycare operator found responsible for the death of her 11-month-old son, Adam. The grief and pain of my loss has been a constant part of my life. Adam Dash died from asphyxiation after he was improperly strapped into a car seat and placed in a closet for a nap at a Burbank daycare home. Adam's parents say they didn't know the Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars daycare home had been cited for having two times the number of infants it was allowed to care for under its daycare license. Had we known any of the prior violations or things like that, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere near that place. According to an investigation by the Center for Investigative Reporting, most records of inspections and violations in California daycare centers are stored in obscure government offices, but that could soon change. The parents should know exactly where they're putting their kid. Assemblymember Christina Garcia has introduced a bill that would require the state to place the records of inspections, violations, and complaints involving daycare facilities online so that parents can easily access them. When I first found out that I could get way more information online about my nail shop or my hair salon and its safety and how it's violations, it just seemed to me that how are we or why are we not putting even more information out about those that we love the most. Assemblymember Garcia says daycare care operators have offered no opposition to her bill, which has sailed through the assembly and is now headed for what she calls strong bipartisan support in the state Senate. If only she says it had passed before the death of Adam Dash. I think Adam would be alive today and that smile that we saw in those pictures would continue to fill everyone with joy. In Long Beach, Randy Page, CBS 2 News.